Lord, I said, yeah. the Father, this is real. Will you watch over me? Will you raise him up to be strong? I don't, I, I'm just a man with flesh. This is what you call for in your scriptures. You said they wore studs and fringes, they got it on. You said they are follow the law, they doing it. You said under your house shine, they ought to love one another. Are they doing it? You got that for me? Go ahead and read that for me. This is the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people. My people. Right there in that frame, that first, the first couple of words is letting you know. It's letting you know that this is speaking to a specific set of people. This Bible ain't meant for everybody. This Bible ain't meant for the East Indian. This Bible ain't meant for the Chinese. This Bible ain't meant for the Korean. The same African was out here when we first got here today. This Bible ain't meant for them. This Bible is meant for blacks. Latinos and Native American Indians, my people, keep reading, my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. When you look around America, when you look all around the world, there's only one set of people that are destroyed. We got the highest amount of degrees. We go on the jobs and we take over. We go on a court or a field and we take over. But yet and still, my people are destroyed. And the reason why we destroy it, the reason why we, why we destroy it, is because we don't know what's inside of this Bible. We don't know what's inside of this Bible. We know what's inside of these textbooks at these schools, but we don't know what's contained inside of this Bible. We follow this oppressor. We follow his ways and his customs. And because we follow his ways and his customs, my people are destroyed. Keep reading. Because thou hast rejected knowledge. Uh, my, my, I'll take, read that from the top. Oh God, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. What is that knowledge? That knowledge is found right inside of this Bible. You learn everything. You learn any and everything else from this oppressor, except for your identity. We right here in 2024, and how many blacks, Latinos, and Native American Indians walk up and down this street right now, and if I ask them who they are, they're not going to be able to tell me. They gonna tell me a hairstyle. They gonna tell me some name they got from their oppressor. They gonna tell me a landmass, but they will not tell you their identity. The Chinese man come over here, and he's not Chinese American. The East Indian come over here, set up shops in your neighborhood. He's not East Indian American. But when you got here, all of a sudden you became Afro-American and Afro-American. The names of two oppressors, Amerigo Vespucci, and, and uh, um, Leo, Leo Skippy is African. Two oppressors. Two oppressors from whom we call ourselves by. But the Bible didn't call us that. Inside of this Bible, inside of the only really true form of higher learning, it doesn't call us black. It doesn't call us Latino. It doesn't call us Hispanic, uh, uh, Brazilian, uh, uh, Jamaican, none of the above. It calls us Israelites. Our name is Israel. Keep reading. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Our because thou hast rejected knowledge. Our because we have rejected knowledge. We've rejected the knowledge of this Bible. We rejected the knowledge of this Bible, our true identity, our true God, and we've accepted and adopted the customs of America. We've accepted and adopted the customs of our oppressors. We follow everybody else except for what's inside of this Bible. We go to that lion. Christian church, that lion Christian church, give all of our money, all of our time, and you walk out there not even knowing who you are. You walk out there still destroyed as a people because Christianity is white supremacy. Right. Christianity has nothing to do with the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible is the God of Israel. Keep going. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. And because we've rejected the knowledge that's inside this Bible, our God has rejected us. Our God has rejected us as a people. Our families are destroyed. Our homes are broken up. We are the victims of mass incarceration. 
3.8 million people in jail, two thirds of those are black, Latinos, and Native American Indians. Why? Because we've rejected the knowledge of inside this Bible. We rejected this knowledge when the Most High told us to never integrate with these other nations, never hold hands with these other nations, never lay down and have sex with these other nations, never, never celebrate their holidays, they, they Christmas, they birthdays, they Mother's Day, they Valentine's Day. This Bible, this book right here of how you learn it told us to never follow those ways and those customs. But we rejected those ways. And because we rejected those ways, the Most High rejected us. Keep reading. I will also reject thee. The Bible says, he, the Most High said he was going to reject us as a result of rejecting his ways. You got millions of churches all over the world. Millions of churches all over America. So how are we destroyed as a people? I'm going to tell you how. Because that church is not teaching you what's inside of this Bible. That church is not teaching you what's required of you if you are an Israelite, if you are black, Latino, or Native American Indian. That church is not even teaching you that this Bible belongs to you. This church is not teaching you that you don't have an option as an Israelite of who you're going to serve. If you serve the gods of this other nation, you will be destroyed. We are destroyed in America because we refuse. We refuse to follow our God. We refuse to follow the laws, statutes, and commandments that the Most High laid before us. Keep reading. I will also reject thee that thou shalt be no priest to me. The Bible, the Bible said that he was going to reject us, that we weren't going to be no priest to him. Uh, matter of fact, read that. Read that from the top. Oh, it's the book of Hosea, chapter 4, verse 6. My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, I will also reject thee. Because we rejected the knowledge inside of this Bible, the Lord has rejected us. Mass incarceration, high, high, um, high blood pressure, diabetes. Our women combined, Latino and black American and black women, abort 500,000 babies every year. Right. 500,000 babies every year. Right. That's the Lord rejecting us. That's the Lord rejecting us. Keep reading. Now, God, I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me, seeing thou hast forgotten the law. See, because we forgot this law, because we forgot the law of the side of this Bible, because we forgot that as Israelites, we can't eat pork, shrimp, crab, or lobster. Because we forgot as Israelites, we can't intermingle, we can't mix with the other races. We can't never follow their customs. Because we forgot that, because we go to church on Sunday. We, we go to church and worship on a Sunday, and because we forgot the Sabbath day is the seventh day, which is today, because we forgot these things. He read, Oh God, seeing thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. The most I have forgotten our children. A lot of us are victims. A lot of us are victims, or oh, we are them same children that were forgotten. And we were forgotten. Why? Because our parents, they forgot the law inside of this Bible. They forgot what's contained inside of this Bible. They out here right now in the next couple of weeks getting ready to go vote for Kamala or getting ready to go vote for Trump. When our Bible in Deuteronomy 17 and 15 right. tells us that we're not allowed to vote, that's that right. we are forbidden to vote. But that same lying pastor, that same lying church is going to tell you to go out and cast your vote. It's going to tell you to go out and be a good slave. And you wonder why we continue to be at the bottom of society. Every time we vote, our situation gets worse over here. That's Voting right. has never saved our people. That's right. Civil rights destroyed our people. Right. Civil rights got rid of our businesses. It got rid of our hospitals. It got rid of our HBCU. The reason why they HB, why they historical, because after civil rights, we didn't make no more. That's right. right. We, we, we wanted to be just like the suppressor. We right. sent our money, our kids, to death school. We didn't want to eat at our restaurants no more. We wanted to eat at their restaurants. Right. We got rid of our businesses. And as a result, we at the bottom of society now. We have nothing to offer our children. Nothing to pass down to our children. We don't even know what the hell inheritance is or what it's meant or what it's for. The whole world got mad, got mad and upset at LeBron because he got his son a damn job. 
We don't even understand the importance of that because America keeps us fighting against one another. They keep the slaves in the pit fighting against one another because that's American Check culture. Check that's, the, that's, the, that's the way of the American. But we're not supposed to follow them. And we're not supposed to take on none of their country. We're supposed to be following this, this book of how you're learning. The same one that your pastor got. The same one that your pastor and he's the first Hillary got. That same one, it says that we're not allowed to practice in the LGBTQ, ABI, ABC, one, two, three. We can't do that inside of this Bible, but in that Christian church, it's all right. And that Christian church is okay. That pastor is lying to you. Christianity is lying to you. Right. And it ain't just Christianity. Because Islam is Christianity too. Right. Islam is Christianity with men dressed up in dresses. Right. That's all that is. It's all the same. Go ahead and drop that. Drop that and give me Jeremiah 3 and 15. Give me Jeremiah 3 and 15. We first got up in the camp. We had, we, had, we had people out here saying that Jesus loves everybody. Just come to Jesus. All you got to do is believe. All you got to do is believe. Well, guess what? In America, I can believe I'm a girl. And they gonna look at me like I'm a girl. I can believe I'm a cat, I'm a dog. I can believe I'm a damn butterfly. And in America, it's gonna be all right. But that makes no sense. That's, that's, not, that's not for real. That's make-believe. That's make-believe and that's confusion. And the author, our God, our God is not the author of confusion. That church, that Christianity, that church is the author of confusion. This is why we so mixed up as a people. This is why we can't save ourselves. We've been talking about bad black, bad black come together for how, for how long? And we can't do it. And the reason why is because we can't uniform under the one constitution that the Lord gave us, under the rules, the laws, the statutes, and commandments that the Lord gave us. And we're not going to be successful. Just like we read on Hosea 4 and 6, we will be destroyed without the knowledge that's contained inside of this Bible. Right. You got that from you Go ahead. It's the book of Jeremiah, chapter 3, verse 15. And I will give your pastor, and I will give you pastors according to my heart. The Most High said he was going to give you pastors. He was going to give us pastors according to his heart. He was going to give us pastors according to his heart. The pastors that we got now, they don't have the heart of the Most High. Whenever that Bible is talking about your heart, it's talking about your mind. It's talking about your mind. Your heart is just a muscle that pumps blood. This is where all the decisions are made at, your mind. These pastors don't have the mind of the Most High. Deuteronomy 7 and 6 tells us that we are a holy people. Holy means to be separate, set apart. If you separate and set apart, you're not trying to be like the white man. You're not trying to be like the Asian man. You're not trying to be like nobody. Why? Because you're, se you're special. You're separate and you set apart like it says to be holy. But these pastors, right, these pastors told us to do what? To integrate, to all hands, all come together. I want little black boys and little, little white girls to hold hands. That ain't from the Lord. That ain't from God. That's not the mind of God. That's the man of this oppressor. That's the man of this oppressor. Keep reading. Don't oh come. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. The pastors that we were going to get, the pastors that we were going to get, were going to feed us with the knowledge and the understanding of the Most High. Well, guess what, DC? You looking at the pastors that the Most High sent you that's giving you the knowledge and the understanding of the Most High. Right. He didn't send that pastor that's in your church. He didn't send that imam that's in your mind. And I don't care how long y'all been going to him. I don't know how y'all been going to him. I don't care how good he can say, how he slide up and down the aisle when he's stealing your money. The Lord didn't send him. The Lord didn't call him. The Lord didn't call him. Christ went never, I love everybody. I'm here from everybody. That wasn't Christ. That's not our king that we read about in this Bible. The Bible says Christ was an austere man. An austere man. But Exodus 15 and 3 says the Lord is a man of war. Y'all right. know about war, right? right. But you know about war, right? If you look at the Israeli man right now, the Jewish man right now, oh, he's giving you a clinic, a clinic on how war is fought. That's right. war. That's right. That's not Christ. That's not the white Christ. 
say the boys did that they gave us. We have been lied to. We've been tricked and fooled and manipulated into following this kingdom. We've been manipulated into hating our God and rejecting the knowledge that's contained inside of this Bible. Read that again from the top. And I will give you pastors according to my heart, which shall feed you with knowledge and understanding. The Bible says that God was going to give us pastors that were going to, according to his heart, his mind, that was going to feed us knowledge and understanding. The knowledge and understanding that it was just talking about in Hosea 4 and 6. The knowledge and understanding that's contained inside of this Bible. The knowledge and understanding that if you smoke, when it says on the, on the side of the damn cigarette packet causes cancer, you're going to catch cancer. That if you eat pork, shrimp, crab, lobster, bottom feeding, things designed to clean the earth, you're going to be number one. If you Israelite for high blood, for high blood pressure, diabetes, cholesterol, cancer, gout, you name it. Why? Because we reject the knowledge that's inside this Bible. Two million deep in prison, mass incarcerated. Why? Because we reject the knowledge that's inside of this Bible. The same way that y'all are rejecting the knowledge right now. Because you walk right by the same pastors that the Most High sent. You walk right by the same pastors that God sent with his knowledge and his understanding. And you reject the word of the Most High. You reject the word of the Most High. You reject the knowledge that's contained inside of this Bible. And this is why the Most High has forgotten us. And this is why the Most High has forgotten our children. Go ahead and drop that and give me Deuteronomy 4 and 6. All throughout this Bible, it's telling us about wisdom. How to obtain wisdom. We think that getting a degree is wisdom. Getting a PhD or a master or associate or a bachelor. We think that that's real wisdom. But look at where we at. With all those PhDs, with all those master degrees, right. we still at the bottom of society. Right. We still can't save our people. Right. LeBron, I mean, uh, Puffy had how much money? Billions of dollars. We think that money is the end all be all. As soon as I get my money, I'm good. Money don't save us. Money don't save you if you black, Latino, a Native American Indian. Your degree not gonna save you because you black, and you Latino, or Native American Indian. It doesn't work like that. The only thing that's gonna save you is your God, your right. power. That's the right. God of the Bible, the God of Israel, these laws, statutes, and commandments. The oppressor, he can be a sexual. That's his culture. You look at Roman culture, they've always been They've always been alternative. We was never that. That's never been our doggone culture. They women have always been 304, always been horrid. That was never our culture. Our women used to be modest. Walk with a, with a skirt down to the ankle. Now they come outside showing you everything that they got. And if they don't got it, they'll go buy it. If they don't got it, they'll go buy it and they'll show you that too. Reason being, we don't have the knowledge that's contained inside of this Bible anymore. We reject the knowledge that's inside of this Bible. You got that from me? Go ahead and read that. It's the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 4, verse 6. Keep their form and do them. The Bible says to keep, therefore, and do them. We first pulled up the camp. Oh, the, G, the, 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 the I Love Jesus crew was over here to the side. And they say, all you got to do is believe. All you got to do is believe. Just believe. Just believe. And I don't think they was black. I'm almost positive. They was Africans anyway. They was Hamite, right? They said, all you got to do is believe. But we going to see if that's true. We going to see if that Bible, if Christianity holds up or the Bible holds up. We gonna see if that's true. He just read that the Bible says to keep, therefore, and do. Do requires action. You got to do something. You can't just read this word and believe it. You can't just read this word, word and that's the end of it. It's deeper than that. It requires faith, it requires work. It requires you to come get a flyer. It requires you to repent, which means to change. You can't get high and say that you believe this word. You can't leave your sister and say that you believe this word. You can't be a wife, not listen to your husband, but say that you believe this word. It don't work like that. Keep reading. Keep, the, keep therefore, and do them, 
for this is your wisdom. For this is your wisdom. If we were to keep these words, these laws, statutes, and commandments, it says to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments, and do them. This would be our wisdom. Do you think when these oppressors walk by you because you done built up their empire, you done built up their Chinatown, you done built up their downtown, you think they look at you with wisdom? Yeah, Babylon.